another evening here in Grand Teton National Park, and it's a beautiful one. And again, I couldn't stand to be in town. I'm going to spend a little while looking for critters. There's been really good grizzly bear activity up here lately, so maybe I'll run into some grizzly bears, I hope. And otherwise, maybe just some elk or foxes or whatever I can find. But it's great to be out as usual, and uh, I'll mostly be driving around tonight. I might get out of the car and go for a hike. Uh, weather dependent and state of my body dependent. How good I feel sitting in the driver's seat or uh, if I feel like stretching it out a little bit. So, go see what I can find. Wish me luck. <laughs> Okay, I just saw two grizzly bears in the woods. They appeared to be sub-adults, which would make sense because grizzly bears don't normally hang out together unless they're siblings. God, the mosquitoes are terrible. But they should be popping out of the woods here any second. So I'm gonna get set up. I'm gonna be at F5, ISO 800. And that'll give me about 400th of a second. Uh, and then I'll be ready for them when they come out. <laughs> so are the mosquitoes. Okay, here they are, here they come. All right. Oh, geez, the mosquitoes are terrible. That one's standing up, and this is gonna be cool. Nice, that was a cool one. Good God, the mosquitoes are awful. What a terrible mosquito year. Wah! All right, the bears have disappeared for the moment. I'm gonna roll up my window and uh, move down the road and see if I can find them again. So these grizzlies are on the move a little bit. I'm gonna go get set up down here and see if they come back out. This pair are most likely siblings and that are offspring of the famous grizzly 610 here. They got, God, the mosquitoes are terrible. They separated from her earlier this spring and uh, they're still hanging out together. I know they had split for a while and now they appear to be back together, which is really cool to see. So that was kind of a good example of why to keep your gear ready to go, set up for action. Because uh, those bears came out and I didn't have more than just, I don't know, 30 seconds or so before the bears came into sight and then the one stood up. And that's the shot that I kind of, I think will turn out to be the, the best one out of the group. Um, that bear standing up is going to be pretty cool. So. I wasn't set up ready with the camera right there, literally turn it on and it's ready and I know I'm gonna be able to make the shot. You know, I can make some adjustments as I need to, but um, that's kind of the big deal. So that's why I put in the time and effort to make sure that things are ready to go at a moment's notice. Because those things happen and you, you just miss them. So luckily today I was ready and I didn't miss it. Mm -hmm. 